Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Washington Gun Law TV. I am Washington Gun Law President William Kirk. Thanks for joining us. Hey, for those of you who routinely geek out on this channel, first of all, thank you very much. Secondly, you will recall that we have done a series of videos about our good friends over at Liberty Safe. Well, I had an opportunity to go back and take a look at the comments, and a few of you came up with a really, really important comment, which is, boy, I sure would like to know where a lot of other companies stand on this. And as I've always stated, uh, I am a huge, huge believer in personal and professional freedoms. I think that every company should have the right to conduct their business however they want to and support whatever political movement they want. However, I also believe that the consumer should always be informed and then make informed decisions about where they want to spend their hard-earned dollars. So I had an opportunity to go back, do some research, do a little geeking out and figure out which companies really kind of just want to see you disarmed. So today, let's spend a few minutes, let's get you educated, let's give you a little food for thought and let's talk about the companies that want to disarm you. Okay, so this is what we're talking about. After doing this series of videos about Liberty Safe, including this one right here, where we talked about well, some very questionable political spending by Liberty Safe and where their loyalties really lie, many of you said, hey, what other companies might be engaged in funding politicians who are trying to disarm me? So I went out, I did some geeking out, I found a great article on ammoland.com, but one of the places I went and looked for was on websites uh, such as Everytown and things such as that, because because they will very openly brag about their corporate sponsorships. And lo and behold, it turns out that there is a huge amount of companies that are spending a lot of money to disarm you. Now, we're gonna put the link down below in the description box to the Ammo Land story so that you can see the full list, okay? Otherwise, I would be on video for about 20 minutes listing all these companies. I am going to go through the list, however, in alphabetical order, and I will mention some companies. And I want you to know that I'm only mentioning about one eighth of this list. So even though you're going to get a lot of company names here in a moment, you're also going to find that when you click on that link down in the description box, there are a lot more companies that are hell bent on civilian disarmament. Okay, the ones that I've highlighted that I'm going to tell you about in alphabetical order include Amalgamated Bank, AMC Theaters, AOL Time Warner, AT&T, Bank of America, Beyond Meat, no surprise there, Burger King, Chipotle, CNN, shocker, Comcast, Credit Karma, Delta Airlines, Dick's Sporting Goods, we all know about that one, Disney, no shocker there, DoorDash, eBay, Enterprise Rent-A-Car, The Gap, GE, Geico, Gucci, Hallmark Cards, The Hard Rock Cafe, HBO, Intuit, Levi Strauss and Company, MetLife, Microsoft, MSNBC, no shocker there, MTV, Navient, NBC Universal, shocker, Panera Bread, PayPal, Pinterest, Progressive Insurance, Reddit, Royal Caribbean Cruises, Sarah Lee, Shake Shack, Sonic, Square and Twitter, Subway, Survey Monkey, Uber, and Yelp. These are all companies, along with many, many others that are on the list, that routinely make political donations to causes designed to disarm you, the lawful and responsible gun-owning American. Now, am I calling for a boycott of all of these companies? No, I'm not. Who the heck do I think I am? I'm not gonna ever think that I have the authority to tell any of you how to spend your hard earned money. But as you know, here at Washington Gun Law, we try to keep it right down the middle. We don't wanna tell you how to think, but we do wanna give you all of the stuff to think about. And as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I believe that every one of these companies has the absolute right to donate their money to whatever cause they want and to support whatever political movement they want. But then all of us as consumers in a free market society, have the right to know that they're doing this and then to adjust our spending habits accordingly based upon our belief system. Listen, you may have more questions about many of these anti-Second Amendment companies or anything else related to what's left 
of those Second Amendment rights. Now, if you guys do, you should know how to get a hold of Washington Gun Law by now. If you don't, that's okay. That information is right down there in the description box. In the meantime, let's everyone remember that part of being a lawful and responsible gun owner, like we talk about all the time here, is to know what the law is in every situation, how it applies to you in any instance that you may find yourself. Until next time, thanks for watching. Stay safe.